Two school shootings in two days. Police officers in Waukesha and Oshkosh shot students who confronted them with weapons. Those shootings and other threats and scares have left students, staff and parents in several communities in Wisconsin on edge. It also resurrected the debate about guns and school safety. I asked Governor Tony Evers, the former state school superintendent, if there's more we can or should be doing to keep schools safe. Governor, let's start. I'm curious your takeaways as yeah. we've watched what's happened in Waukesha and Oshkosh, and not to mention the threats we've yeah. seen in half dozen plus other schools across the state this week. Yeah, it's 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 difficult to fathom, to be honest with you. It, you know, when you when you have situations like this, because it you know having been an educator for a long time, it it, it not only impacts that school, it just it impacts the entire community. It, there's a cascading effect, so that. And no matter whether it's uh, in, in Waukesha or Oshkosh or any other school district that's having uh, difficulties in this area, it, it just it, it takes your breath away. In your mind, is there anything that could have been done to prevent what we've seen this week? It's hard to say. I mean, it, it's, it's individuals and individual stories that, uh, that, are be, that are likely behind this. I think schools in the state has done a good job in helping uh, schools kind of harden their physical plants. Uh, I do believe that uh, we've not gotten quite uh, accustomed to dealing with mental health issues in, in this state, and I think we, we, we work at it, we tr try to do the best we can, but uh, I, th I think we need to kind of kick, kick that in second gear. And it's not that I know that these issues could, uh, were mental health issues. I don't know that, but I do know that occasionally that is, is the case. Mm -hmm. It's, and, but I don't want to suggest that dealing with mental health either is the solution to uh, gun safety issues or so on and so forth because that just, there's no data to support that. Well, are you planning to call lawmakers back again for another special session? Well, those two bills are still out there. I mean, they, if, they're, if they're willing to take them up, uh, the, the gun safety issues, that, mm -hmm. that'd be fine. I don't anticipate that. But I do, th I do think there is... Uh, there is some commonality of purpose here among Republicans and Democrats around the issue of mental health. Uh, but I, I, I will say it again, not all violence, uh, gun violence, happens because of mental health. That, that's one small part of it. But we also have to understand that kids uh, have traumatic experiences, whether it's social media or whether it's economic circumstances, um, that we have to deal with. Is there an appetite for a special session on school safety? Possibly, but I, I, I think we have time. We, we not, you know, years time, but I, I, you know, they're coming back and they're going to be around again after the first of the year. And uh, if the, if the, the leaders uh, wish to have a discussion about uh, school safety issues and uh, be glad to have that. When's the last time you've talked to Republican leadership about either gun safety or school safety? Oh, it was, it was back when we were, we were bringing the sessions together and uh, obviously it didn't go well. Uh, they, they didn't like either of the bills that were there. But the, you know, this, this is an area where I know there is common agreement. It's just that I think what the disagreement is, is that uh, I don't view this mental health uh, funding as something that um, is going to take care of gun safety issues. It, but it's important. It's darn important. So where do we go from here? If you and Republican leaders haven't talked for several months uh, mm -hmm. on this issue and we've seen what's transpired in the past week, is there any urgency to get this done and will anything get done? Sure, I, I, I believe we will, especially around the areas of mental health because both sides have talked about it, maybe in different contexts, but we've talked about that. So I think we can get something done. Uh, we, they, we've done it in the past, so whether it's a special session or, or not, you know, we're, we're not that we don't talk, we do talk, and, uh, and uh, we will talk about this also. Have you backed up your approach for, for a special session on guns or the bills you would like to see pass? No, I think the, the bills are still out there, I still support them. I mean, I'm a, I'm a realist also, I, you know, I witnessed what happened last time around. But uh, if the legislature wants to take them up, I'll be more than happy to, to help them get, get them passed. But uh, in the meantime, we're focusing on uh, uh, issues that we can find common ground on. At least I am, and I think they will too. So you moved on in some essence. Well, yeah, well, I, I still think they're reasonable approaches. And, and uh, so I, I, I don't have any 
um, a, a feeling of remorse about putting, having a special session or having those two bills that I think 80, I know 80% of the people of Wisconsin support. Uh, but if it ain't going to happen, uh, let's find a place where it will happen. And I think this is one area where we can find some common ground. And can this type of funding, whether you're talking about money to actually harden schools more mm -hmm. or the mental health side, can this wait until the next budget? I don't think so, but I think we can find ways of doing it now. Do you anticipate reaching out to leadership on the school safety yes. in the coming? Of course. Yeah, how yeah. soon? Uh, within, I, I don't even know what day of the week it is, so the, the sometime this week or next week for sure. We've all heard how Wisconsin will be a key state, perhaps the state, in 2020. Our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com, has launched a new website dedicated to the election. Check out battlegroundwis2020.com for election news and information. Next, the ever-growing field of candidates for Milwaukee County Executive. I'll ask David Crowley what he thinks will give him the edge in the race. And later, a Wisconsin native's role in the last impeachment trial.